In this video, we are going to resolve image elements does not have explicit width and height element on your website. So if you are running a page speed insights or a web dev measure on your website and you may have got this error which has Im image elements does not have explicit width and height on their image sources. So if you can see here is the error which we have which is image elements does not have explicit height width and height and you can see a list of images that don't have such thing in a website when I'm running an audit. So to resolve this what you need to do is you need to add a width and image code to your image elements and how to do that it's actually very simple. Before jumping on to the solution let me tell you how you can actually configure this see you have um, images on your website that does not have a width or height explicitly tagged right and here i can see this is a uh, top section dot img and i can see this is about this image right and if we click on the element and you must select and selector like this and just mouse over it you will see a dimension of this particular image which is 211 into 150 211 is the width and 150 is the height so you can add this as a pixel to the code you have on your website or you can add if you don't have uh, image dimension it's obviously it may be added on the css file or it may not have explicit height and width and for that part you can just add a code which is width to the 100 percent height to the 100 percent which will help you to eradicate this particular error and how to do that just get to the code which you have got it and here as you can see these are the code that actually concerns us so go to the file or uh, go to the ftp and login with the on your hosting and go to the file which is there which these are errors there if you are not comfortable with the html editing part then you can just contact us we do provide as a services you can just have to contact on the link in the description box where we can help you with this and for the wordpress users we will be talking about that in a little better but if you are wordpress user just skip to the last part so here is my main file is in the main dot php and what i'm going to do is going to look for the name okay if you have a ftp if you're downloading a file from the ftp just download it and just press ctrl plus f which is the standard procedure to find files there or a code there as you can see there's a top section image so let me search for uh, top section yeah here it is as it says uh, theme source which is about the svg file and there's a alt text to it and what i'm going to do here is as i see there's no css properties being entered for this particular image so i will be adding width and height to the 100 percent width is 100 percent and same for the height 100 percent so let me just copy it because that's what i need for the rest of my entries if this particular code messed up like you need to click on save and just check your website just reload it if you're using any cache plugin just purge those cache and reload that let's see if it does cause any mess up with your code or design so i think it's perfectly fine but let me just go to the responsive part of my theme so yes it also works fine there as well so what i'm going to do is adding all those sections with this so adding the same code here and here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to search uh, image tag on all my page here so as you can see there's a image data source which we used for the lazy load and there's a svg file but it has a missing explicit width and height so we will be doing that so let me just do it for all the images and get back to you okay so i've added some and as you can see in the what we do part and here it is which looks actually uh, very weird as you can see the boxes are out of sizes just because of that 100 percent 200 percent so what i need to do is here is i will add a custom width and sizes to it so let me go back to the same section where i have added this uh, 100 percent 200 percent so yes it is the item here yeah so all this code have a different image and sizes so let me delete everything from this section so yes it has been deleted from here let me see if it looks good now so yeah now it looks good the first one is obviously just a bit bigger so i think it is not being dealt with yet uh yeah there you go so now it looks fine right not that whatever we are expecting so now what we need to do is go to the inspect element like we have told you before and select the selector and mouse over to it as you can see the height and the width are not the same they're different of all so first one is 230 into 150 
so let me just test it once again reload it 250 okay it right, needs to be 230 to be the same just like before yeah it's good so let me mouse over to it, it says 150 to 150 let me tell you it also depend on your theme how customized your theme is how complex your theme is so it also depend on that i'm just giving you an answer how you can actually fix that issue for yourself so as you can see there's a next um, it's about the seo2 and here's the social media marketing i think so it was already already lazy loaded but it has a dimension of 115 to 158 so let me add that 150 to 150 is already there let me copy and paste it to the rest of the elements so this is about video marketing here so it has 241 into 150 so it's i think it's perfect so moving forward to the content marketing 211 into 150 moving forward to ppc marketing 212 to the organic is 200 into 150 am i right again let me just cross check here so that's it just save it all and let's see if it's work everything fine so yeah now if we just put it as a everything works good it has all the spaces we need and now let's see if it resolves something click on the run audit again so there's our answer performance has been rose to 72 which is i think it good so yes um, obviously we haven't applied to the all so these are the minimum which is we need to work on it so rest it's all good so hope you understand how to do it on on wordpress website and now moving forward to wordpress go to wp rocket plugin obviously if you don't have uh, this plugin just follow the link in the description box where you will need to sign up for this particular plugin and there you will find the link to the download button and just install on your wordpress website because it's the best out there to resolve all such errors and to resolve this particular error you need to go to the media and here is the image dimension it says add missing width and hit attributes to the image helps prevent layout shifts and improve reading experience for every visitor and obviously resolve our core web vitals error just click on admission missing image dimensions and click on save and so i hope it will do the job but if you don't want this plugin and if you are just searching for from free solution on your wordpress just look for the images on which blog it has actually enabled it or get the error just click on that particular blog post and check that image or click that image and in this section you will find the image size so this is the full size you can customize it and you will find the image with 10 height and to check if it actually has the explicit image and height click on edit as html there it says it's a full size but if we add 72 percent to it you will see the explicit size being added to this particular image so that's how you can actually add a width and height to image which gets reflected on core web vitals audit page so if you have learned something from this video click the like button if you want to learn more then you have a subscribe button with you so see you in the next video until then bye bye